Hello guys, welcome back to SN Tax. Andrea Papito here and in this video I'm going to talk about the sole proprietorship in Italy. Uh, if you're in this channel, just want to remind you quickly that here in SN Tax, uh, we talk about how to optimize your taxation when you want to relocate in a specific country and here we are the number one channel that in English language explains how to relocate to Italy and pay less tax possible and we offer a service which is this tax simulation service which is basically uh, we try to understand with a, with a worldwide tax simulation if the relocation to Italy makes sense or not for your specific case. And we also cover jurisdictions such as Belgium, Portugal, Albania and now there is also Republic of San Marino. And, and here today I want to uh, remind you that here in Nesen Taxa we also offer a nice accounting service with an innovative solution which basically we help our client with a proactive, a proactive call, proactive assistance in which we understand during the tax year if you're running a business correctly and if there is some taxes that you can spare before the end of the tax year in order to correct and improve your taxation. And if you want to know more about it, in the description below the video you will see our email contact info at sntaxa.com and our website www.sntaxa.com slash accounting to know more about it. Okay, now let's go back to the topic of this uh, video. Uh, I want to today talk about the sole proprietorship in Italy, uh, which is basically well, let's talk first about the company composed by only individuals, only uh, physical persons. Huh? So in Italy we have this kind of structure, this kind of company that you can set up and, and after I'm going to explain you in the end of this video why it's so advantageous, that they can be composed by only individuals. So we have individuals here, you cannot have basically company having shares of this company. And this company in Italy are famous, are known as Società di Persone. So it's the name that it's used to say a uh, person composed by only individuals or in English known, uh, known as uh, partnerships. Okay? It's more like partnership. And the same structure composed by only one individual, so one company composed by only one person, it's what in Italian is known as sole pro proprietorship. Today I want to talk about these two type of companies and why you can use them uh, and why you should use them to squeeze your taxes down, especially in certain situations and in certain scenarios. Okay? I'm going to first explain you which is the scenario where you're going to pay a lot of taxes and you might fall into and I'm going afterwards I'm going to explain you how to use this structure to squeeze your taxes in the same scenarios. Okay? Now, so we understood which is the difference. Huh? Now, let's imagine we are in the situation. You move to Italy and you want to open a company, a limited liability company, which is in Italian known as SRL. So the problem of this structure, because you want to run a business in Italy, huh? so the problem of this structure is that you are basically, most of the cases, the only owner of this company most of the cases. This is the classical cases of our client because they have one-man business, but you can also be a couple or multiple people working on the same business. You can have a shareholder, tax resident in Italy and also tax resident abroad, it doesn't matter. So the SRL in Italy are taxed at 24% rate as corporate tax. So you make your profit and then the, the profit will be taxed at 24% corporate tax. Plus a tax called IRAP this is called IRES, the corporate tax in Italy, I-R-E-S, and the uh, small tax, which is in general 3.9%, it's calculated not on the profit, but on costs. So it has a different type of calculations. Most likely the government is going to abolish this tax, but for the time being is there. So you have to pay this amount of taxes. Huh? And then if you want to withdraw your dividends, the problem is this 36%. Once you have paid, your profit tax, you have to pay 26% to withdraw your taxes to your pocket. At the top of it, Italy asks you to pay IMPS, which is the social security on the administrator of the company, okay, which is normal, but also on the shareholders that works on the company. 
There's this concept in Italy. So you have to make sure to be only an investor. Because if you are an, a shareholder, which is not only investing money in the company, you're not just holding the shares, but you're also working in the company, and you are also the administrator, you're going to pay the total contribution twice. In percentage here, which might be up to 26% of your income, and also based on the profit on your company. So you pay a social security all at the top of this, regardless if your income, if you're getting the dividends or not, based on the profit. So at the top of 26%, you pay also social security. So this is the worst way to set up a company in Italy. Okay? Now, um, how do we try to avoid this problem with the social, social contribution first and how can we squeeze at least this 26% because the corporate tax if you want to have a company you have to pay it there's no other way to do it now let's go back with the company the sole proprietorship or the company composed only by individuals if I'm going to put myself if I'm going to put between myself and my Italian company a sort of holding company composed by only individuals which can be a sole proprietorship, proprietorship or can be composed by only individuals so you and other persons then what, what happens here that your my company which is holding my business and keep in mind this company can also run out business or just holding properties is not a problem but this company here becomes the only shareholder of this company that I have here it means that uh, the, the person that the, 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 the shareholder is not somebody that can work. And this basically, uh, uh, in this way, I can keep paying the imps. So, as a shareholder of the company, I am obliged to pay the social security, social contribution, if I'm working on it. But if the shareholder is a company, which is my middle company, my sole proprietorship company, then the imps is not due anymore at the level of the profit. So if the company makes the profit and pays 24% on the dividend, I don't have to pay the imps, okay? So this is the first optimization that we can do. Huh? So um, then what, what I can do, I can also keep paying the social security on my administrator, say the salary, because myself can be also the administrator of the company and I pay myself at zero salary. And since here the imps is on percentage, I, its percentage is zero, I don't pay either imps here. So there is no social contribution to pay at the level of my SRL. I can pay myself at zero salary, why? Because I can run my ad business through my commercial holding sole proprietorship. And I'm running a business on my SRL, so I'm going to pay only social security once. And where I pay my social security, on my dividends that I'm getting here, only on my dividends and not on my salary or my administrator payroll. Eh? And here the interesting thing is that the taxation on dividends, when you have a company owning a, a company composed by only individuals that owns an SRL, a limited liability company in Italy, is that you have a deduction of your income will, get, will be taxed not at 26% anymore. It has a different taxation, but you will be taxed at 20, uh, I'm sorry, at 58% of your dividends. So only 58% of your dividends will be taxable and it's not going to be taxed at 26%, but it's going to be taxed with the RPF taxation, which is the taxation in brackets. Okay, let me summarize. I know it's a little bit complex, but Stick with me because then you will realize how much you're gonna spare with this system. So you're not gonna pay thanks to the system if you pose another company in the middle between me and my company in Italy, I can skip paying the social security and I will pay social security only here. Okay? This is the first big optimization. The second big optimization is that the dividend are not getting more tax at 26% because this taxation is only working when a company gives dividend to individuals, but here the company is giving dividends to another company, okay? These dividends are taxed differently. Only 58% of this dividend is taxed, so the rest is tax-free. And well, this 58% will be taxed at RPF taxation and not at flat 26. And the RPF, RPF taxation starts from 23% up to 28k and then the tax bracket reaches 43% up to 
with the incomes bigger than 50k. So, which means that my real tax pressure is not going to be 23% and up to 43%, but it's more or less the half of it. I calculated that 58% of an income of with using this RPF taxation actually has a real tax rate between 13% up to 25%, okay? So if I get my dividend and my dividend gets a deduction of, uh, it's basically 32%, only 20, only 58% of my income is taxable, then I'm not gonna be taxed between 23 and 43, but between 13 up to 25, okay? I think you understood now the, the point. So you're not gonna have this 26% dividend tax, but you're going to be taxed between 13 up to 25% based on your income. So if your income, for example, reaches 28K, you pay only 13% because it's the first tax bracket reduced by 58%, and 28K goes in my pocket because this company is tax as transparency uh, company. It's like a pass-through company. It's like what you know as LLC in US, for example. So the dividend goes straight to my pocket. These type of companies in Italy don't have the corporate tax. So you see, you take out the dividend from SRL, I have this discount on my taxes, and basically this, ta this amount of money taxed, for example, at 13% because I withdraw 28,000 one year goes straight to my pocket and I'm going to pay social contribution only on this amount of money Okay, this is one big tax optimization that we can do with this kind of structure that you can have in Italy And this is not over. There are a lot of things a lot of schemas that we can exploit through this um, Company composed by only individuals